Hey YouTube, hey babe. Hey YouTube, hey babe. Welcome back to another video. Let me show you guys what um, I've been working on for the last uh, few hours. Um, let me show you right here. So, for a little while, I've been um, I've been trying to figure out how to secure my trailer. Yes. Um, I have the uh, GPS tracker, so if I, my trailer ever, ever moves, um, I, got a, I get a notification. Um, I think it costs like five dollars a month for the uh, ship, and the GPS is like um, I don't know, I think like fourteen bucks on eBay. Uh, somewhere, somewhere in there, there's a GPS tracker, but um, that doesn't mean that this thing cannot move. Um, you know, I don't know, I can put my phone down, whatever, uh, this thing can move, I, by the time I, I notice, my batteries could be gone or whatever. So anyway, so I was trying to figure out what can I do to secure the, um, my trailer. So there's, there's many ways, as you guys know, to lock. This is, this is a boot dog um, coupler. So there are some locks it looks just like this. You put it, you put the pin across, and then you put the lock here. Um, but those lock, honestly, you can just uh, put a pipe. I've seen videos online where you can put a pipe and snap it off within like two seconds. Um, so, that being said, um, there are other systems that go, they, that they wrap back here, or you can go here, um, and, and they go anywhere from the, well, 15 bucks for the cheapest one with the, the lock that goes across all the way to almost a hundred bucks. That being said, I figure I make one of my own. Something ever happened, it was my fault, right? Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's my fault instead always. of like, yeah, always, right? So, so let me show you guys what I came up with, or at least I put together. Um, so I went to the other part the other day and I came across this guys, this, these are uh, a split flange. Um, I got two of them and they're very simple. They just um, open up on both sides. You can see they come with a bolt ready. Uh, they were two inches and they go anywhere from two to two and, uh, two and a quarter inches. So I got two of them, right? And let me uh, pass forward now how everything was assembled. So here it is. Um, you know what, let me, uh, sweetie, can you help me here? So, this is the way it works. Like I said, I bought two of them. I got one of the bolts. I put it through. I cut the one end. Oh, wait, before I said that. So, once I put it through, I had to put two, three washers right in the middle here to make up the space otherwise they were uh, they would get stuck um, so I did that then um, I had it welded so this thing will not go anywhere um, and the way it works is very simple you open it up and you can use it as a handcuff <laughs> there are handcuffs actually it works look <laughs> fine anyway but no, no, not for that. But anyway, so the idea is once it once it both together, you put it around the coupler. Spins. And then you put the lock on it. Now this thing is only as good as the lock. And yes, anybody can pick a lock. I mean there's many videos out there how to pick a lock. Um, but I don't see people I don't think someone's gonna go around trying to pick this lock. Um, I got this lock, I already had it, so it looks like a pretty beefy lock. Anyway, um, and then that's it. You put it in. There you go. There you go. So locked, won't go anywhere. Uh, the way you open this coupler, you gotta put the, you you gotta push the uh, sleeve, the metal sleeve back, and then uh, 
and then that's how you receive the ball or loosen it. Um, I kind of like this system better. Um, I, I, I would say, I don't know, a three out of five, you know, as far as uh, someone cutting through this. Regardless, the way I'm looking at it, there's no lock out there that can stop a grinder. You know, a cordless grinder, you can come up to it, cut it, I guess what it is. But it's still a lot better than this little pin here or even one of those pin locks. Um, I only pay five bucks a piece. The lock, I said, already had it. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's steel. Um, there's a total of 10, 10 little individual plates. So there's a, there's a total of 10 individual plates. They're all riveted together. So yeah, um, I give it a shot. You know, I mean, hopefully nobody uh, wants my trailer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy. It looks, it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what it looks like. Um, also, we are going to, we're gonna be, mosquitoes are killing me. We're gonna be traveling in a few weeks to uh, the Mid-Atlantic Overland Expo. Very excited about that, that will be our first trip. So we're trying to get everything done. Um, I, tried, I got these spacers. I'll be doing this later on this week. So when I put those tires on, I was hoping to be able to use the spare out of my truck and put it on the axle. But the hub opening is larger than the opening on the spare tire. So it doesn't go all the way, all the way to the back, right? So I got these spacers. I'm, I'm hoping that will sit properly. Now then I just go out get another spacer and that will make up the difference. And this way I don't have to have two spare tires. The one for my truck will fit in the trailer. That was a, I'm, I'm hoping that really works. I'll be doing that video once I uh, take the wheel apart. Uh, I, uh, oh yeah, I got the snaps for the window screens and the uh, door screens. For mosquito bugs. Um, Wait, those big bugs. Yeah, those big bugs. I, I mean, right now, right here, I am <laughs> ill. Worse than camping. Yeah, worse right than at camping. home. I don't know what's happening in my house, but it's crazy. And, oh, here. I got my. Sixteen, sixteen gallon water tank. That'll be going underneath as well. So very happy about this. I have so much stuff to to do before we go to the uh, mid America, mid Atlantic uh, Overland uh, Expo. Expo. Super excited about the water tank. Yeah, yeah. Because that leads to last but not least our shower curtain. Oh yeah, right here. So this is a this is the the good ones. The other ones that we got were like plastic cheap ones from a dollar store. Uh, this is a lot better. <laughs> got them dirty. Anyway, these are the new ones. Hopefully they they hold. I'm very excited about this one as well. And oh, last but not least, this thing. This are this is a um, tire pressure and monitoring system, but my truck has it. But what this does, that my truck doesn't do, is gives you the temperature, what's happening. So, uh, so if you guys have it, please let me know if it's good or not. I just got it, as you can see. Uh, it's solo, pa solo power, so you sit it right on top of the uh, dashboard on the truck and keep charge. Uh, or you can just plug it in, micro USB. And then, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, these are, the, these are the sensors. There's four of them. So I'm gonna have two in the back of the trailer and two in the back, of, in the back wheels on my truck just to see what's happening. The um, last trip we went to, it was really hot. And I think I'm running my tires at 38 pounds. And my front tires were 40 pounds. But my rear tires were 43 
PSI. Um, obviously it's the heat. And so I figured, you know what, let me just monitor, see what's going on with the trailer and at least the two back wheels. Uh, this trip, this Mid-Atlantic uh, Overland Expo is about four, maybe five hours away from us. That will be our first long, long trip. Every other trip has been two hours the most. Um, so very excited about that. So I have so much stuff to put to uh, to address to make sure everything is 100% on the trailer. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's uh, pretty much everything that we have going out, right, Ben? Anything else? Mm, no. I think that's it. We've been off enough to chill. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I have a couple of days of uh, putting everything back together, little by little. So I hope you, um, if you guys like this, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you. Please comment. Uh, oh, thank you to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate um, your support. So yeah, again, um, thank you for everybody. And I will see you guys um, at the Mid-Atlantic Overland Expo in a few weeks later.